second they put air conditioning in office buildings, women are like, we want equality! <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm Abigail Epton and I'm wearing uh, <laughs> just as much as necessary. Um, also, I'm watching videos with you together and we are watching Andrew Schultz roasting women. What she's saying, but I know it's white woman rage. I know what it is. I got a white fiance. I know about this stuff, okay? There's a problem that has nothing to do with me. I need to solve it, right? It's just... <laughs> You're offended? I'm bored. Let's do something about that. It's a win-win win situation. I don't have. Now, you want to know the problem? This Sunday. is really the problem. Is we started Instagram ruined the whole thing for women. Social media, period. So check it. I got it. Ready? Instagram, we started liking your pictures on Instagram. So mm -hmm. then immediately after you started getting those likes, you didn't want street harassment. Back in the day, the likes <coughs> used to be street harassment. It used to be, you no look good, boo, and you're like, that's annoying, but a little no part of you is like... Still like street harassment, I don't Back know. in the day, <sighs> now you don't need it, because you go on your Instagram, you can feel desired. But back in the day, well, there was no Instagram, so you needed to walk by a construction site and be like, all right, this outfit does look good. That's not true. Yeah, I am feeling myself, I do look good. Are you going to vaccinate your kids, miss? <laughs> Thanks, miss. <laughs> I don't have a gender. <laughs> <laughs> Neither do koalas. <laughs> You won't vaccinate them? You're not? What do you mean? I'm not saying what. Wait, hold on. Dude, this is this new shit that, that I don't a little get fast, that women do. Uh, you don't want kids, right? Okay. But it's like you're young and hot now. So it's like fun doing shit. You know? But like soon you're going to be 24 and nobody cares. You know what I mean? Like. Uh, so no kids, man. That's so weird. Do you really? How old are you? 38? Oh, you ain't having no fucking kids, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's some shit that just happened and you trying to get out in front of it. Like, uh, yeah. oh, I didn't want any kids, man. So stupid. I would never want kids. It's like when a guy's going bald and just shaves it. <laughs> this is my choice. This is what I wanted my animal up Uh, Are you okay, sweetheart? You're good? Uh, that's what's up. Carla, what happened? She had a seizure? So she was, did she hit that? <laughs> White lady, listen, I'm trying to, you know what also isn't funny? Anything you're going to say for the rest of this. You're just going to be miserable for the next hour? That's what you're going to do? Mm. Hey, nobody's, nobody's texting you what you're looking at your phone for. Anytime soon. They're screaming, we should be able to have sex with as many guys as we want. Yes, you should. Yeah, okay. If we get pregnant, we should be able to abort it. Hopefully. And we need to work so we can pay our half. Hallelujah. <laughs> Fellas, get down here. It's happening. We've reached common ground. It was unbelievable. 
unbelievable. These women were fighting for the right to become the men they've always hated. I want to explain the U.S. national team suing U.S. soccer for sexist wage discrimination. Now, there are two reasons. One, why they are the most dominant force in women's soccer history. Two, they are fucking idiots. Now, I'm not here to bash women. Hope Solo has done that enough. I just want to clarify what's going on. So here it is. The U.S. men's team, if you can even call them men, has an incentive-based contract. They only get paid when they play. And by play, I mean get their shit pushed in by the third world. The U.S. women's team was offered a similar incentive-based contract. They turned it down. The women demanded guaranteed money instead. Then they went out and pillaged more Greedy women bitches. than the white kids in the World Cup. <laughs> So they did the math and realized they would have made more money if they had taken the original incentive-based contract. So they sued to change their contract and receive back pay for all the games they've already played. Obviously, the judge thought this was ridiculous and threw the case out immediately. Now, yeah. lasses of the grasses, chicks between the sticks, bitches of the pitches. You can't sue someone for giving you the contract you asked for. You also can't call someone sexist for giving you the contract you asked for. Yeah, Furthermore, that's not helping. If you ask for a sexist contract, U.S. soccer isn't oppressing you. You're oppressing you. Now, I understand it's shocking that women would break an agreement just isn't because they're in a position just listening to it? financially. But that's exactly what happened here. And you dare say men have commitment issues. And that's good. Because this is <laughs> All right. Yeah, interesting, isn't it? You can't just... Not everything is uh, sexism, not everything is any ism. Sometimes, um, yeah, it's, it's just shit. <laughs> See you in the next video. And I'm like melting in this. I had no clue how hot this gets. See you soon. Bye.